give the floor to the distinguished representative of France. Merci. Thank you, Vice President. Faced with Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, the role of this council is crucial to reaffirm the universality and the primacy of human rights to foster peace. More than one year after having begun their war, Russia continues to violate the Charter, international humanitarian law, and international human rights law. Its mass uh, abuses and systematic abuses uh, its torture, mass rape, and deportation of children are crimes of war and crimes against humanity. And these are documented by the report of the uh, Commission of the Independent Inquiry, and they will not remain unpunished. We support the ICC in its investigations and the measures taken against these crimes. And we would particularly like to mention the... Uh, the charges against President Putin. Russia's contempt for human life does, is not limited to Ukraine. In Russia itself, the space dedicated to civil society continues to shrink, and the power is uh, smothering all forms of dissent. In Mali, in the Sahel, the uh, the Wagner group of Russian mercenaries are continuing their destabilizing actions and the abuses that have been documented by the UN. In Syria, Russia is complicit uh, to the crimes of war committed against uh, the population. And in Belarus, uh, Alexander Lukashenko's power, which he, and he is complicit in Russia's aggression against Ukraine, is continuing his repression of civil society and the opposition. Vice President, this council must always play its role to prevent human rights violations and atrocities and to fight against the impunity of their perpetrators. We must relentlessly condemn, uh, condemn these violations wherever they take place and those of uh, the rights of women and girls in Afghanistan and in Iran which are being systematically flouted and those of uh, innocent civilians. We demand the immediate release of all persons detained arbitrarily in Iran and we and we condemn what is taking place in that country. And uh, allow me to re draw your attention to the situation in Xinjiang. The report of last year by the OHCHR must be uh, followed up on by the UN, and it should be available in all working languages of the UN. Thank you.